Today, the favorite hound for hunting small game is the beagle. The beagle's origins are obscured in antiquity. Hare hunting with hounds, which were surely of the beagle type, was popular in the 1300s. The name beagle first appeared in English literature in 1475, but no description was given. One thing is certain. This gentle, friendly little hound with the musical voice has been with us for a long time and has earned his reputation as a rabbit hunter par excellence. The beagle has been described as a miniature foxhound, solid and big for his inches, with the wear and tear look of the hound that can last in the chase. American Kennel Club registration statistics indicate that the beagle has been consistently one of the most popular dogs in the recent history of purebreds. This is easy to understand when you consider that the beagle is small, clean, inexpensive to breed and own, easy to train. And that beagle puppies are extremely hard to resist. Many thousands of beagles are kept by hunters of small game. But hunting seasons are all too short, and the territory available for hunting is shrinking every year. In some areas, it is even difficult to find places to train your hound. Both master and hound grow restless with no place to go and nothing to do. It's no fun owning an animal who sits in the backyard and wishes he were somewhere else. The answer, of course, is beagle field trials. Since the first trial was held in 1889, the sport has grown to the point where there are some 400 beagle clubs holding annual trials at which AKC field championship points are awarded, plus many hundreds more club and fun trials. In order to get the best possible help in administering the sport, AKC holds an annual meeting in its New York offices with a 12-member beagle advisory committee. Each year, the BAC approves the schedule of licensed beagle trials for the coming season and recommends changes and refinements in the beagle field trial rules and procedures. One member of the BAC represents the National Beagle Club, while the other 11 members are picked from among the candidates elected by 45 regional associations of beagle clubs. It is through these associations of clubs that the thousands of beaglers across the country participate in writing the rules and procedures under which beagle field trials are held. Since beagles compete by sex in 13-inch and 15-inch classes, fair and accurate measurement is very important. Measuring for brace trials is done by the judges in the presence of the owners or handlers. Most beagle clubs maintain running grounds cultivated to encourage the rabbit population. Members of the gallery serve as brush beaters under the direction and control of a marshal so they won't interfere with the hounds as they work. The handlers follow at a distance with their hounds which must be ready to perform when their brace is called. Judges usually work on horseback so they can watch the hounds from a good vantage point and move quickly to keep up with the action. Brush beaters form a line across the field and go about the business of scaring up a cottontail. A shout of tally-ho will signal a sighting and the beater will mark the spot where he first saw the rabbit. The first brace is called up and released. They give vocal evidence that they have found the scent. The judges, to quote the AKC's Beagle Field Trial Rules, should approach their work with the attitude that the future welfare of the breed is in their hands and should make their findings and selections on a basis calculated toward keeping the beagle useful for both field trials and hunting purposes. It's up to the marshal to keep the gallery under control and have each brace ready to go as soon as it's called. Once all braces in a class have been judged, the judges select the hounds with the best runs to return for a second series. All second series hounds are measured before going out to compete again, except those previously measured. Following judging of the second series, the judges will call for additional series if necessary until they have made up their minds on the top four hounds in the class, plus the next best qualified. 
Now, let's watch some hounds in action to see what the judges are looking for. You can see where the rabbit went. A large pack trial on hare is almost like a different sport from the brace and small pack trials. Usually about 30 are run in a single pack. Each hound is measured before being given a number. The number is painted on both sides of each entrant. This does not harm the dog and provides the means of identification for the judges during the running. In large pack beagling, as in brace and small pack trials, the Bible for all participants is Beagle Field Trial Rules. Once the hounds are numbered and their numbers recorded, it's out to the running grounds for the chase after hare. Officials assemble the pack and make sure all are present or accounted for. It's up to the hounds to find their own hare and pack up in pursuit of it. From two to four judges will follow the action on foot, depending upon the size of the pack. The handlers and gallery will assemble at a specified vantage point. The rest is up to the hounds. The hounds have started a hare. At large pack trials, you spend more time listening than watching. If you have a good ear, you can identify your hound and tell if he's running well. In the open classes, each pack will run for not less than three hours, while the judges eliminate the faulty hounds and make up their minds about the rest until they get the pack down to from eight to ten. These hounds have given up, and the judges will ask their handlers to pick them up. There goes the hare, and the hounds shouldn't be far behind. Dark brown in summer, these snowshoe hares turn pure white in winter. The hounds stay close enough to keep the hare on the move, and the judges have to log plenty of mileage to keep the hounds in sight. Hares travel in much wider circles than cottontail, and this one is giving the hounds a good test of their stamina and determination. Handlers can only wait and hope until the judges finally narrow the pack down to where they can pick the winners. Field trials are also held for Basset Hounds under rules that are nearly identical to those in force for Beagle trials. Bassets have a tendency to pursue more rapidly than Beagles and their voices are deeper. Judges are looking for the same abilities that distinguish a good beagle, however, and the bassets that come out on top are the ones that stick to the line while making good progress and showing that they want to account for their rabbit. Although much fewer in number, there are trials held for dachshunds. Their rules are similar to beagle field trial rules. All varieties of the breed compete together, although usually divided by sex. The principal qualities to be considered by judges at dachshund trials are good noses, courage in facing punishing coverts, keenness, perseverance, obedience, and willingness to go to earth. Most doxies run mute, but many show themselves to be excellent trackers and determined pursuers. The heart and soul of the sport of Beagle Field Trials is the Beagle Club.